Garin, you're a personal putter hero of mine. I've used your products for a long, long time. Tim, our editor here, he uses a Cayman blade. I use, I use the Barbados for a long time. But you've got a new project. Yep. Um, it's got, a, if we've been told, quite a revolutionary technology. Take us through it. Um, every putter hits a, you get miss hits on all putters. If you hit it in the middle, it rolls true and, and goes the full distance. When you hit it about a half inch off, off center, uh, it'll go, let's say, let's say the center hit was 25 feet. If you hit it a half inch off center, it'll go 23 and a half feet and about eight inches to the, off the line. So that's what a miss hit does. And you see this often on the PGA Tour. When a, when a guy, they say, oh, he pushed that putt. If you look at the slow motion, very often you'll notice that he hit it just a little bit toward the toe, and it was a miss hit. And the miss hits are very common. It's very hard to hit that exact center spot on a putter. So, so, so the basic premise to this technology is that grooves, which I invented years ago, right, don't hit the ball as far as no grooves. So, so a 25-foot putt with a standard putter, smooth face, um, like the number one milled putter out there, Cameron, right? Uh, that ball will go 25 feet. If I put a groove putter, hit exactly the same, and I hit that same putt, it'll go 23 and a half feet. So what I realized is that if I increase the amount of contact surface, and the reason that the reason the groove putter doesn't go as far is because those little narrow sets, uh, areas that contact the ball between the, the grooves. So it's got all the grooves and then a little bit of contact areas. That's less energy transfer, and that's what's going on. So if I'd increase that energy transfer by making that, by making those little areas a little wider, we go away from the center, it would hit the ball further, where the putter is weaker. Because when you hit off center hits, as I just said, the ball just doesn't go as far. So now we're going to take a putter. So, so we're, uh, we have a, a, a putter here that has the new technology. And as you can see, as we'll show you when we look at our graphic over here, we have very narrow little contact surface here, which gets a little wider as it goes out to the side. And what this is doing is hitting it harder here and softer here. So everything ends up the same distance. But here's another added advantage of this. Not only does it go the same distance, because of this, this parabolic shape, to this, uh, to this, to this groove, if you will, this contact surface gears the ball back to the center. So instead of going away from the target line, it, it changes it and makes it come slightly back, and so everything goes dead straight. So the result is, after a lot of testing and a lot of research, uh, what we have here is the ball is the balls end up together at the same distance without any dispersion. So they end up in the same spot at 23 and a half feet. You can pick them up with one hand. And we have, and we have a, we have a, we've done a lot of robot testing, and we have that on film live that we will be able to show you. Question: I've never asked a putter uh, designer before, but you don't get to design just one putter that you like. You have to design more than one model. How does that process work? Because obviously you know what you like to see, and you can tell us what you putt with, but you've got to think at other people's angles as well. Yeah, well, you know, I don't just like one putter. I, I purposely putt with everything. Because I have to, I have to know, I have to know the experience. I try different offsets, uh, mallets, blades, all sorts of things. I try many different types of putters because I want to know what, what what they feel like and how they perform. Uh, some of them, uh, uh, some have a toe weight to them. Some are face balanced. Uh, and when I instruct putting, uh, if I see a guy, for example, pulling pulling all of his putts, then he's probably and he's got a face balanced putter. I put a toe. A, toe, a little bit of toe hang in the putter, and all of a sudden he starts hitting it straight. Uh, and, and, and the opposite, if he's, if, he's hitting, if he's pushing everything and I put a face balance putter in him, he brings it back to the middle. He starts pulling it a little bit more to get it straight. So there's, and then there's different offsets, there's different weights, there's different uh, links and, and how you putt. So there's a lot of different things that, that, that come into play. So I have to know all those things because really at the, be at the, at the basis of all this is getting a guy or getting a golfer uh, fit properly in the right piece of equipment, whether it's a blade or a mallet or the sight lines or whatever it is, offset, all those things are important.
So we have to get people, uh, we have to get them dialed in first before they can truly get into performance. So I have to know those things. So I switch all the time. I'm always experimenting. That's my, that's my duty. And I don't really prefer one over the other, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gary. And we're really excited to try these on the golf course. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for being here.